Hello, our friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. I hope everybody's doing great this morning. Indeed, we do. We hope everybody's doing well. And we have some Patreon people to thank. And we wanted to talk a little bit more about our Patreon folks. But we want to say a huge thank you to Big Mike, Robert, and Modern Refugee. Yes, and, and Modern just basically changed his level. We just want to show appreciation for him and also just, again, reiterate, if you haven't subscribed to Modern Refugee, um, maybe we can get him over 30,000 subscribers. And this is his channel right here. He was just talking about restoring a cast iron uh, Dutch oven. Very, very handy. Uh, one of the things on my agenda is I really have this uh, like strong, strong urge to make a beautiful outdoor uh, cinder block oven uh, as a backup and just like when the power goes out and everything. Uh, and also because cooking in the house in the summer where it's 95 to 100 every day, Oh, it makes it tough for the AC. So, you know, multiple purposes. But, you know, he's got all sorts of information. Uh, more on the prepping side, he's very awake, as you, I'm sure you know. Uh, it's all about preparedness, old-time lore, country skill, skills, gear review, et cetera, et cetera. Um, benefits of a hiking staff. Yeah, and we, we've, you know, definitely did a lot of hiking with hiking staffs uh, for protection, too. Uh, I mean, we've we've been stalked by a cougar out there in New Mexico. Oh, fun fun times! I, I miss those. I miss I miss the road and hiking. Uh, but here you go. We have Houston has a direct hit pretty much when you get down to it. Again, Houston's a little bit inland for those that are not so familiar. Um, Galveston is taking the brunt of this hurricane, and yes, it did go back up to hurricane as we're talking about barrel. And when you think about the, the path the barrel took to hit, bull, <laughs> hit the bullseye with Houston, it makes a lot of people suspicious. It really, really does. Uh, and it also was going up in strength really quickly right before making its impact. But thankfully, it, it ran out of water uh, to strengthen itself. So Cat 1, yes. Uh, direct hit on Houston, yes. Uh, some areas have seen over seven inches, as much as uh, ten inches at the at the moment. But you know they are talking uh, of totals up to a foot or more. It's this this will be a significant flooding event. Uh, is it Harvey? It does not appear to be Harvey. They'd have to really pull out something pretty obvious to turn this into a Harvey. So you know that's a good thing. I think what we have going on right now is the awakening of human consciousness is creating a lot more resistance to the technology and the plans of the dark matrix mm -hmm. and, and it's having an effect it is it is you know and this really had to have been very scary you know to go out there those transformers are huge they pack a lot of power it's like you can feel your yes, hairs go up on on your body when you look watch those things blow up or there there was one time um when we were in a different home there was a transformer that blew up not too far from our home and i actually saw that thing in my mind's eye for a very long time and it was bleeding through my two eyes and my third eye and i saw this flame it was the strangest thing. So this electricity, we are very connected to electricity. And we can see kind of weird things when those things happen. Yes, absolutely. And for those of you that are in the awakening process, and there's so many different signs to that awakening. And one of them is, uh, you know, seeing things that you might think I'm going crazy, but why do why did I get an, a certain impression? Why did I all of a sudden think there was something moving out of the periphery? This is part of third eye awakening, and also sometimes uh, headaches that are centered right in the middle of the head is the pineal gland expanding. Of course, there's a lot of other things. Barometric pressure could give you a headache. Absolutely inflammation you know can cause all sorts of aches and pains <clears throat> it 
but there are truly ascension symptoms that are affecting us on a daily basis as our consciousness is rapidly expanding and that's the thing that um i think a lot of people don't really understand i i, I think there's in some cases this thought that things are going to happen much much faster than they are and then there's also the thought that things happen way way slower than they necessarily do too so it's a tough thing to figure out we have we don't have all the answers um but we just share what we can get and perceive and experience with you and we hope and we do see that you guys are sharing more and more uh, in the comments with each other all the time and supporting each other because we are a family here and that's really going to be the big step ahead when the world all of a sudden rec recognizes that it's a family then we can really shift things then we could really shift things. As you see, there was a tornado associated with barrel ripped through Galveston. Now, Galveston's right on the coast and has seen some big time storms in its history. Uh, let's send out prayers for everybody involved in this storm as it's overwhelming storm drains. It's going to the north, and so it's going to head more up uh, into uh, Arkansas after you know passing through here and then start to tilt and head uh, eastward and actually take a, a fairly similar track to a degree to the eclipse that we had, which is kind of curious too. The other thing that I felt needed to be talked about a lot was the, or at least go into, is what's going on in Paris. You know, Paris is a good example, and France is a good example of exactly what's happening in the Western world. You have these opposing forces, and as we talked about the election results in the United States, how we've gone, you know, Democrat, and then go swing to the Republican, Democrat, Republican, and what do we have? Well, all we have really is a widening divide, for the most part, and in an increasing um, intensity of the one side to dislike the other side ever increasingly, Thankfully, there's more and more people waking up and saying, I don't want any part of the Democrats or the Republicans because they've screwed everything up for a very, very long time. They're obviously uh, part of the same two, you know, two headed dragon, let's say. Uh, yeah, the two sides to the same coin. Now here in Paris and the election process in France and the in the UK might seem uh, a little confusing to us in the States. But you had a second run of elections. And what's interesting is, you know, it, obviously uh, the results have led to um, some people just cheering and they're happier than can be and also celebrating by creating chaos. And other people um, very unhappy with the results and feeling cheated. Uh, and, you know, again, chaos, tension, this, this is the ultimate goal of the system. It, it, the ultimate goal of the system is to create anger, to create despair, uh, to create hopelessness, to create frustration. Well, they're, they're pretty good at all those things. Yeah, th they got that down. <laughs> Here you see Marine Le Pen's national rally party received by far the most votes in france's election but won the third most amount of seats the french people wanted to take back their borders and sovereignty instead they got uh, the c word there we can't vote our way out of this is the statement and uh this is cillian uh, who does follow our, our channels as well so when you get the most votes but the least uh power what does that say to you? And well, it, it definitely says that some people are going to be frustrated. You actually have video of Marine Le Pen crying, and you also have video of other politicians um, talking to her, perhaps in a little condescending man manner. This is all part of that show. This is all part of that. Let's frustrate the people. Let's get them angry and let's keep them divided. This is all about that division. The real paradigm shift is when we stop thinking in nationalistic terms. And no, we don't want to lead the, have the UN lead 
a united world because the UN is is not for humanity. It, it's pretty obvious when you really look at the acts of everything that the UN and all these other institutions have done. They're not about helping the planet. They're about helping themselves, of course. You know, so again, there's there's no no real respite from the chaos there. Yet what we need to do is is to break it down into much smaller pieces as at first as part of a larger dismantling process because again the system is the problem and you know as you see this uh little meme here of you, you get the picture uh as you know france some are, are saying france has fallen well we've seen that statement on so many different countries but the reality is we need we need the system to fall and the system is kind of falling right now because it's it's getting to be made very obvious what the system is all about uh, as david ike says here the the plan is great mayhem <clears throat> that's what they're doing you know you have headlines like starmer could let out 40,000 inmates cuz there's a prison crisis you know there's there's a crisis for everything except for uh, really truly uh, helping the planet and helping humanity, you know, again, everything that leads to more profits for the elites, more control, uh, the same old system doing what it does, you know, just basically controlling through division. They even told us that, I mean, straight out in Genesis 11, it's quite clear. And that's that's the state, a statement coming from the system that really is revealing its true intentions. The biggest, biggest mystery of all uh, that is out there in the occult ooh, scary occult circles is that w the oneness of all you know the the fact that this is all really truly an illusion of sorts but the suffering is real the suffering is very real it's it's uh it's what they do and and really i just think at this point if people are not awake it's only because they don't want to be awake it's not convenient for them yeah, they it's just easier for them to stay asleep and do their nine to five whatever they do and and i guess for some that's okay they're on their path they're doing their thing that's what they want to do but for us i think we want something different and we want to push harder towards something different something that's free something that's um helping the planet helping humanity i think that's where we're at now so <clears throat> there was an event with a children's hospital in Ukraine. And, you know, this feels like a uh, typical <clears throat> sort of false flag event. Now, it could be a false flag. It could be a real event. You have to just feel into it again. The reality is, again, people uh, do lose their lives prematurely. There is suffering and there is the targeting of innocence that goes on. I think it's hard to find uh, any truly, um, what's the word do you want to use, pure politicians out there that are genuinely working in the system uh, with completely the sole purpose of, of liberating Earth from the oppression that it's been under because it's been nonstop wars. And... You know, again, when you look to the Bible, the Lord of hosts, that just means the God of war. That's the same, that's the same translation. It literally is. So if we're revering gods of war, what are we really, you know, giving power to? This is part of the awakening that has to come. We've been through this before. So this is actual footage of of a missile that or it's supposed to be actual footage could it be cgi could it be uh yeah in these days and age you 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 can't really count on anything uh now you do have shrapnel afterwards uh so you know some people believe that this this may have been a false flag and and perhaps it wasn't what it was stated to be uh as it's being made out to be a, a russian cruise missile uh you know, to blame Russia to expand the war as they are obviously and have been obviously uh, at great odds trying to create this expansion of the war. You have this, Poland's directly entering the battle in Ukraine, says Zelensky, the actor. 
Uh, Zelensky stated a volunteer legion will be formed in Poland, a mechanism is being developed for Poland to shoot down Russian missiles and drones in Ukrainian airspace launched in the direction of Poland. Again, Poland would be, uh, along with the Baltic nations, uh, the most likely to uh, see expansion of the war. And, you know, the people of the world, we really don't want this. They're driving this. Ukraine didn't even exist when I was born. You know, it didn't exist as an independent nation when I was born. There might be some of you out there where uh, perhaps Israel didn't exist as a nation. You know, when you were born, you know, again, and yet we're going to destroy the whole world over the political structure, which does so little for the world. It's pure insanity, but yet people do still buy it. There's still, unfortunately, uh, too maybe toxic (laughs) to think clearly. I think that is the case with a lot of people, and I think a lot of it is, again, completely uh, purposeful. Hydrogen peroxide has a lot of value. Uh, You know, again, it's good for cleaning pesticides off of uh, fruits and veggies. Uh, definitely can care, uh, kill germs. You could use it for a variety of things. You know, it, it does um, basically help clean teeth. Hand sanitizer, again, you don't want to wipe out everything. A- and, and again, use things in very, very um, strict moderation as much as possible. Uh, try to stay as natural as possible because, again, so much of this the problems that we're seeing now especially with people that are actually getting covid and getting sick uh it's because your immune systems have been under tremendous assault and and are having a hard time retaining balance and homeostasis uh things like antibiotics they wipe out everything the good bad and the ugly all together it's a scorched earth program which leaves you in a state of being wide open to invasion again you know bodily Mm -hmm. It does. I mean, it does a lot of nice things. One thing I like to use it for is house cleaning. So I I throw some uh, peroxide or some borax in there with some peroxide and some water. And I mix that up and, you know, it it, it just, it whitens everything so well. You know, bleach is good, but gosh, that stuff really stinks. And plus, if you're trying to kill mold in your home and you put bleach on it, all bleach really does is make it invisible, and then you're spreading it around. So you get a rag and you wash it off, but you're just spreading the mold around. So bleach isn't so good for a lot of things. Um, but peroxide, peroxide's really going to get to the core of stuff. It, it's going to cleanse. Now there is also the internal cleansing side of peroxide, and there is a protocol. It's probably online. I didn't have luck with it, but you know, don't let that stop you because everyone has something that's going to work for them, but you have to go walk the path yourself and see what's going to work for you. Absolutely. You know, again, always look for simpler solutions and recognize that what we're seeing right now uh, on Earth has happened many times. And when I say many times, uh, I, I do mean many times. How many? I don't know, but more than a handful absolutely this this is a huge mosaic this is a nine thousand square meter mosaic that's huge it's going to be opened up this year discovered nine years ago in the construction of a new hotel and this is in turkey uh yeah the history of turkey is fascinating or what we call turkey today you know ottoman empire and going farther farther back in time it's been called many things um amazing what's buried there but all over the world now our story has been rewritten big time when you look at this depiction of a woman here would you think given what we're what we learn in history books that this was a a typical african woman in 1581 uh her dress looks maybe what we would think is maybe more some native american Right. Uh, It's but yet what we see, too, when when you read, I have like three books that are really they were small, too small, but very good. And and they included accounts of sailors that were sailing 
to North and South America for the very first time uh, from a, a European standpoint, modern European to standpoint, I should say. And they were describing the natives in certain areas. And when they were describing the natives in the Carolinas, they were likening them to people found in Ethiopia. And, you know, what? So that means they were there before the whole S-L-A-V-E trade. Yeah, and then you read about Queen Califia, who was similar. Yeah, no, you know, this, this modern history is complete BS. Complete BS. It's, it's not right. And, and we, we know, you guys know, I know you guys know, this is off, um, this is Sakhalin Island. So this is in 2021. This is Russia, by the way. Uh, there was an exceptionally strong tide capable of stirring the bottom of the waters and changing the landscape. A stone road emerged in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. Yeah, a stone road. So, again, when the glaciers were at full um, depth, there was a lot more ocean bed uh, open. And also, there have been massive cataclysms where entire land masses have sunk, other ones have raised. Now, part of this is a natural process because the Earth was created from remnants of Tiamat. And I do believe that expanding Earth theory is, is on the right track. Perhaps it doesn't have all the answers, but I do think it's on the right track. And I think the Earth is expanding and she is growing. And yet at the same time, the history is completely covered up. Mm -hmm. I know I love this. Experts say it's a natural formation. There is no reason to investigate this site. You know, so many people put put so much weight in a lot of scientific studies and the scientific studies are funded by those who want a certain outcome. And that's what we need to keep in mind. You know, also when it comes to history, I mean, history is a really good thing, but you want to get that firsthand if possible. You want to explore things for yourself. You don't want to take any any experts um, <laughs> word for what is going on because it's proven to be over and over and over and over again. False, 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 false. So you have to rely on yourself your own understanding and you know rely on others that you truly trust and then then we have this thing you know that's kind of weird looking looking down there yeah this is a piece of art that's making the the rounds today uh and i think people would look at something like this and say well alligators coming out of the sewer well it looks like a rather human hand and it looks like it's wearing clothes hmm what do they mean with that what do they mean with this? This is actually real. <laughs> it's not that it's a real dragon, but it's the real representation of a dragon wrapped around a tower. Oh, isn't that interesting? Now, tower, interestingly enough, when we talk, talk about the Tower of Babel story, um, there, there, if you look at the original translation, the word that's used again uh, for tower can also be used as some sort of portal or gate So the question is with the Tower of Babel. It, it wasn't really a tower going up to the sky per se it was about a, a collective of humans that had advanced technology and knowledge uh, That were a threat and so that threat was eliminated by the system and what you have here is, again, a dragon showing and exerting its power and control over the system and against any that would try to become, uh, let's just say, a breakaway society, so, so to speak. This is Wat Sam Fram uh, Buddhist Temple in Bangkok. It's just outside of Bangkok, Thailand. Thailand, you know, beautiful uh, country with lots of amazing things to look at. And, and this is the actual... Uh, daylight version isn't that curious it seriously is very very curious you can go and you could go see it yourself and you could actually climb on the dragon kid you not some of it very very cool um wow yeah thailand and southeast asia this would probably be my first place i'd want to go would you enter the dragon's mouth <laughs> 
that's just a lot of fun. And then there's this, you know, this poor guy thought that it, it was a ghost traffic light just sort of haunting him right in front of his car. This has really got to be scary when you realize what's going on and how bad the storm is. So we're sending all of our prayers and, and all of our energy toward those who are suffering in this storm, who, who need some relief. You know, I feel so bad for people that are, they've got to be exhausted to have a storm like this hit in the middle of the night for those with children, those with pets, you know, it's just so sad. Yeah, and look at this. This is in Saudi Arabia. This is to provide shade in the intense desert sun during the day. I mean, when you look at, you know, New York City, you look at any of our big cities, you look at the roads, like look at I-95 going through New York. It's pathetic. And then you you drive in some of these other countries, like you know, go to Dubai, look at uh, Riyadh, Saudi Arabia, look over in uh, Singapore and and China too. You'll be blown away by the technology. Uh, many people have talked about the trains, train systems, you know, that we don't have here in the U.S. They have a different um, future in mind for the U.S. and some other parts of the world. And look at this technology. This is incredible use uh, and uh yeah when you get 110 120 degrees uh, this could certainly help any little bit of shade helps in that direction yes absolutely you know again it technology could be used for good i just thought this was cute okay we need to let humans know we exist i got it let's kidnap cows no let's draw circles in cornfields well how about we just let them see us and they boot the guy off the off the saucer what are you talking about you can't let them see us uh mondays happy mondays guys yeah, mondays could be a tough day I, I remember being so caught up in the corporate system and and even getting that anxiety in the pit of my stomach maybe around six o'clock sunday because i knew monday was coming and yeah i could definitely feel that way as does this guy I know this guy, he's just, he's going to stand guard no matter what. He's going to stand guard. What a cutie. As always, thanks for being part of the family. We look forward to your comments. Source bless and namaste. Namaste.